gaffe alert, did Biden just hint that Kamala will be president? President Biden has recently faced a lot of criticism for his handling of the withdrawal in Afghanistan, and he's not putting any rumors of incompetence to rest. At a press conference, he seemed to hint that he wouldn't be the president for long. Kamala would be stepping up. Watch the embarrassing clip. My two daughters were born that you can do anything a man can do. It's one thing for somebody to say that and keep pounding that in the head of her five granddaughters as well. But to guess what? Until they see it, until they watch, it becomes real then. That's why, by the way, she's it happens to be in Asia for me right now, but that's why we have a female vice president of the United States of America who's going to be, we're going to have some presidents pretty soon. Watch, President Trump releases brutal ad against Biden. President Trump is speaking out following Biden's complete failure in Afghanistan. His team put together a new brutal ad calling the president the surrender in chief. Watch now. America is back. The highest inflation rate in the pain is a pump. Southern border is collapsing. The climb of COVID infections. We amplify our power. We summon the new strength. This is a recruitment Should ad. Should we be embarrassed? Diplomacy <laughs> is back. Now the Taliban are back. Kabul is not in an imminent threat environment. The likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. They own the whole country now, the Taliban. The Taliban are now in complete control of Afghanistan. <laughs> complete chaos. How did President Biden get this so wrong? Well, first of all, the mission hasn't failed yet. If this isn't failure, what does failure look like exactly? Biden, you destroyed not Afghanistan, but the world! I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnate. <laughs> Do I bear responsibility? Zero responsibility. China is ready for friendly relations with the Taliban. The lightning is so mandatory, and the Taliban are going to come and kill us. Slow down, everybody. <laughs> we have to ask the Taliban for permission for American citizens to leave. True or not true? They they are in control. I can't uh, think of anyone better to lead this operation than... than uh, uh, oh, you're just chanting death to America. Can you call yourself a president? breaking, the Pentagon confirms deadly explosions in Afghanistan. Early this morning the Pentagon confirmed two explosions near the Kabul airport that have taken the lives of many, including Americans. The incidents were apparently suicide bombings. One witness told Fox News about the experience. Watch. I want to get uh, on the phone now. We are joined by a gentleman by the name of Carl. Uh, he's at the airport. Sir, can you hear us? And if so, what are you saying there? I can hear you. Yes, sir. Hi, it's Bill Hemmer and Dana Perino. You're live on the air with us. What do you see? All right, sir. So I'm an Afghan translator for the United States Marine Corps. I was over here to go and get a, go to the airport and get on the plane and get out of here. There was an explosion that happened inside the crowd. A lot of people got hurt. And I got a baby girl that she was five years old. She died right in my hand. So, uh, I don't know what exactly is going on over there, but I think some of the Americans, they got hurt too. And so people are running around. And, uh, so I'm going to speak a little bit louder. Uh, a little bit louder so it's okay. We can hear you. Keep going. Are you Hello? saying a, a, a baby girl died in your arms? Yes, I tried to hurt her. She was not my baby girl. She was somebody else's girl. And I saw her on the ground, I picked her up, and I took her to the hospital, but she died. Oh. Right on my hand, and that's not. Wow. I'm so sorry, right sir. Now I have yeah. some cash bill. Right now, right now, I have some cash bills with me and my vehicle, and mm. I'm taking them to the hospital. Mm. Can you tell me what you heard? They said that it was a suicide bomb. That happened inside the crowd, but some people are saying that the U.S., they were shooting flashbangs and stuff, and it might be they made a mistake or something. So it's not, it's, it's, I cannot tell you what yeah. exactly happened, but the explosion was very bad, mm. and there are a lot of people that got hurt. I just got a technology ride on my side. He's in my vehicle. I'm trying to take him to the hospital. I was scared to get on a plane and get out because Taliban, they're after me. They have went to my house twice, and 
I shouldn't be exposed, but mm -hmm. it is what it is right wow. now. Wow. Well, listen, I, there, there's a lot going on in your life right now, understandably so. I just have two questions if you can help us with us. Uh, you said Americans may have been wounded or affected as well, but the Americans were inside the airport, were they not? So if that's the case, how would yeah. they have been hit by this bomb, so, Carl? Were, so the explosion, it happened by a canal. And the Americans were on the other side of the canal, and they were checking people's passports and stuff. And those people, they had visa. They were taking them inside the airport. Uh -huh. So uh, that's why they were outside. And Carl, how many people are in your vehicle heading for the hospital? Right now I got two, two casualties, and I got two other guys that they're good. Mm. Carl, how many days have you tried to get out? At the airport? Uh, I, since the first day of Taliban, they took over. I have tried and tried, and I couldn't, and I have been applying for that kind of study for years and years, and I have saved an American life. That, so this whole process is very bad, and what they are doing right now, they are just taking those people that they never worked, and so most of the people that they got inside, they need somebody with a green card. They need somebody with a green card. That person uh -huh. took, took like 10 people inside. So basically there are a lot of Afghans who must from the U.S. And they, they don't know what they got to do. Wow. Carl, um, we're pulling for you. Thank you for um, being with us during a really tough time. Uh, and good luck to the people you're taking to the hospital there. Thank you, sir. Thank you.